My name is Teresa Runke. And I'm Steve James. So we uh, met in Boise and I came back for a summer to visit her family, experienced Coeur d'Alene, loved the place, and decided that we need to come and live here for a short period of time. Uh, Teresa came against her will. I said it would only be here for a couple of years, but she'd grown up here and wanted to see more of the world. So two years became four, became ten, became... Seventeen. Seventeen years. <laughs> well, um, I'm happy to be in Coeur d'Alene. My family's in Coeur d'Alene. It's a beautiful place. When I graduated from college, I lived in California, backpacked around the world, um, seeking beautiful, interesting locations. And when I came back to Coeur d'Alene, I realized how completely beautiful it was, and it was more beautiful than many of the places that I had seen. First of all, we have, we have children. We have two daughters, ages 10 and 12. And of course, we want the best for them. We want them to be able to experience the recreational opportunities that I had as a child. I've been very involved with the Tubbs Hill Foundation, trying to keep it in its natural state, selfishly for myself, for my children, and for other generations. And, and for me, I found Coeur d'Alene to be just a wonderful family and friendly place. And people have really gone out of their way to help us. So anything we can do to give back is fantastic. You know, maybe about five years ago that there was a and there has been a, a decrease in population of families in the downtown area. My daughter, my oldest daughter at that time, attended Sorensen Elementary School and we just found that there was a pretty large attrition rate at the school as people were moving north and the school district proposed closing the school. It was a sweet school, many opportunities, very family oriented and so a, a number of us, actually a lot of us, got together and um, fought the fight and we were able to, to save the school. And today it is a thriving school. There's a waiting list of oh, 200 and some children trying to get into the school that, was, that once had the reputation of being kind of an inner city school. Um, the school has juggling, pottery, and, and just because of the passion of the teachers there and the staff. And it also is a very small school, which at one time it, it was not embraced. And now I think a lot of people want to go back to that, that family situation and, and again, one that really em embraces the arts too. I, I just have fond memories of growing up down in Coeur d'Alene. And I grew up kind of in the downtown area and um, played park and rec softball. Everybody played park and rec softball. And so at that time we would all ride our bikes down to the field and we'd have our t-shirts on and we'd wear our t-shirts to practice, t-shirts to games. We had so much pride. And so that's something that when I think of Coeur d'Alene and especially Coeur d'Alene in the summer, I think of riding my bike down, playing softball, probably getting a snow cone down at McEwen Field. Very proud of and we were all on the Rungi Furniture team. I was not a good bait, a softball player, but it didn't matter. I played anyway. It was more about the snow cones afterwards.